So we're looking at Appointment with Fear uh, by Tin Man Games. And it is an interactive comic book, basically. All right, so many years ago, your birth was the moment all the doctors have been waiting for. Having consented to strange radiation experiments, your parents were concerned for your hope. Oh. All right, you're a girl, you pick what you want to be. You were born a happy child. Prenatal experiments seem to have no effect. Protect your parents, shield you from further experiments and tests. Long after research had been forgotten, your true potential of blah, blah, blah. Your powers began to flourish in your teen years. Choose your superpower. So, uh, you get four choices. Really smart. And use mental powers. You can make inventions. You're super strong. You can fly. Or you have energy blasts. So I'm going to go with energy blasts. I'm a chick. Uh, get to pick your look. So you be a guy or girl. You get to pick your look. You get to pick a color. You get to pick a secondary color. And uh, that's your character. So... After you pick your character, uh, that's who you're going to be the rest of the time. And there is my favorite part coming up after you decide on a secondary color. There's so many choices. And that is your name. You don't actually get to type your name in. They give you a list of choices, and they're all ridiculous. You can hit none of these a million times. You're never going to find anything that makes sense. Excellent. King Gachol. Dark Blue Kaboom. The Consultant. That's all right. Uh, yeah, they're all ridiculous. Polygonal ferret. We're gonna go with Scarlet Pasta on this one. Uh, welcome to Titan City, hero. As Scarlet Pasta, you keep the citizens of Titan City safe in the unending battle against crime. It's morning. You sit at your kitchen table and glance out the window to see the rising sun over the Titan City skyline. You smile. Uh, another glorious morning in the best city in the world, Titan City. Titan City safe because you've devoted your life to fighting crime and keeping thugs and villains off the streets. You are Scarlet Pasta, upholder of justice, and you have taken an oath to serve and fight crime against against crime in Titan City. Time for breakfast. You fry eggs in the palm of your hand with your energy blast and fix yourself a 12 egg omelet. Achievement unlocked. Excellent. So no matter what abilities you do, you'll get an achievement right here for uh, making yourself breakfast. So. You have to replay the game uh, with different abilities to unlock all those achievements. Alright, there's high level agents to attend to. Our scheme for world domination cannot fail. Otoshki is here. Vladimir Otoshki, the titanium cyborg, a cybernetically enhanced supervillain of fierce leaders, half man, half machine, is all evil. Alright, so the whole point is there's this bad group called Fear, and you have to stop them. Nice work, you just gained a luck point. And you have a crime watch. And you check your crime watch. And it's a, uh, you got a choice. You can go pick up the crime watch or finish your cup of coffee. We're gonna drink our coffee. Ah, nothing like that first coffee of a superhero's day. The bitter taste of the Colombian filters blend certainly helps gather your senses. There's another achievement called Coffee Snob for drinking coffee instead of getting to work and fighting crime. All right. Crime Watch gives you updates around the city. Use it to fight crime around the city and discover new clues which will bring you closer to fear. Each clue gives you a luck point. Use luck points to get these cards that you get. So you can collect like 63 different cards by gaining luck points by following clues. All right. There's rumors there's going to be uh, dangerous stuff happening to the president, so you need to speak to the serpent or rat faced Flanagan for more information. Oh snap, there's another clue. Boom, luck point. Alright, so we're gonna play through the whole first day here as uh, Scarlet Pasta and see what a day in Appointment of Fear is. So you have three days to stop him, so we're just gonna play through the first day and see what that's like. So if you check your costume to make sure it's good before you go out the door, that's another achievement. Um, so we're dressed in our regular clothes and we're heading to work. And the crime watch goes off once again. Another crime alert. News updated. The alchemists are planning a series of raids on Cleveland Bank, firstly on branch at 4 a.m. They will also be targeting a branch on the corner of 128th Street and 10th Avenue. Boop! Another clue. Another luck point. 
All right, so you don't really have much to do in this. You just, it's like a choose your own adventure novel. So stuff comes up, you click on it, and you just make decisions. Depending on your decisions, uh, you see how you're doing. So there's these two people arguing uh, on the street, guy selling stuff, cars beeping. Uh, we're gonna see if we can resolve the argument. So there's loads of different choices and you gotta pick the one you think will work. Uh, the argument escalates. How dare you just let your dog do that? It's the disgraceful. Brucey is just a poor animal. Don't you yell at him. Alright, so I think the dog shit on the sidewalk and this guy almost stepped in it and now he's pissed. So everyone's trying to see what the argument's all about. Um, and they're gathering around. So we're gonna just try and stop the argument in our street clothes. See how that goes. The tension's building as you shove your way into the center. The man and the woman are screaming at each other. The man threatens to strangle her dog if she does not clean up its mess. In the crowd, arguments are echoed. What would you think if I did that on your front doorstep? What do you expect the poor dog to do? The city council should keep our sidewalk's clean. These days, dog's not safe on the road, even if in the gutter. If that fat frump should be strangled, not the dog. Whatever. All right, so everyone's arguing. All right, so obviously, dressed as myself, I'm not the only one to try and stop this argument. It's a big jostle. It's a big fight. Things are going down. Boom! I get knocked down, and I lose one stamina point. So it's kind of like your hit points in this. I think you start off with like 13 of them. I already lost one just trying to get into an argument. Are you all right, man? Bruised, but not broken, thankfully. It looks like that's not all to be concerned about, ma'am. You notice the officer is pointing at, uh, pointing at and sigh. So, uh, you fell in the poop, so now you got poop on yourself. Uh, you can go home and change. We're going to talk to the police officer since we are a crime-fighting person and we have crime to fight. We don't have time to worry about poo on our clothes, man. All right, so something going on at the bank. Uh, which we already knew from our crime watch. Uh, the alchemists were there. Uh, looks like things are heating up. Yeah. So, let's see if there's uh, any news in the paper. Alchemist in Cleveland. Immediately catches your eye. The devious gang entered the branch of the Cleveland Bank on 113th Street at 4 a.m. Yeah, I got that. So, now we're reading the news, trying to find more clues. Basically you're trying to find clues so it's like a mystery, adventure game, interactive, comic book, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no one knows how much is stolen when the owners deposit the boxes are now coming in apart from the cash blah 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 blah. Alright, sounds like a job for Scarlet Pasta. So, uh, I can try and solve it. I don't know what I'm solving. There's people at the bank, so we're gonna go in our outfits and uh, dress as Scarlet Pasta and try and take things down. We're gonna do some investigating since I don't know how I could solve anything without knowing anything. I know there's criminals here. Whatever. Roger Steven wants to do all he can to help. He looks tired and flustered as he talks. I'm sorry, I'm exhausted. I was woken very early by a call from the police. I'm aware of that, sir. Time is of the essence, the robbery. Oh yes, yes, the alarm was neutralized with some sort of acidic gas that delayed the alarms they forced their way in. The alchemists. The alchemists are one of the Titan City's most notorious things. The unknown science villa's master of advanced chemistry has been on a thorn in your side for years. Oh indeed, so another unknown compound has dissolved the security lock on the main door. What about the security offers in the lobby? We don't know why the security guards and those intruders. I guess we find out when the time lock releases them from the vault. Can you give me some more information about the deposit box holders? I'm afraid I can't disclose that information, not even the scarlet pasta. Their identities are private. Uh, seems quite flustered. Uh, let's do some more questioning. So we can do ask about the box owner's question, the chief, ask the guy in the vault. Uh, yeah, we can't actually talk to the security guard, the vault's too thick, so uh, 
We can give up, smash the door, or use our energy blast. Uh, I'm going to try and solve it, I guess. The alchemists are plotting another bank heist at the Cleveland Bank. Yeah. Boom! Two hero points for solving it on my first try. Good work, detective. Yeah, I mean, I think I already knew. I didn't know that was solving it. Anyhow, the alchemists are on the move. We're going to the next bank to see what they're doing there. My information was correct. As you arrive at the junction, sounds of commotion are coming from the bank. Boom! Five more hero points. Not sure what they do exactly, but I got them. Oh, I think you get enough hero points and, like, that's how you win in the game. Two men dressed like professors are rummaging through the cashier's drawers and stuffing notes into sacks. Another is grasping a test tube rack containing five tubes of liquid. He's threatening the customers. Stay still or you'll get a taste of our latest chemical concoction, blah blah blah. What am I going to do? I'm going to burst through the door, leap in on the one with the chemicals. Boom! I leap in and grapple with him on the floor. Your chemical crime spree is at an evildoer. Ah, it appears your logic is flawed, Scarlet Pasta. Have you forgotten about my nerve gas? Curses, he's right. The fiendish villain is taunting you with a tube of bright, bubbling blue liquid. No doubt that's the kind that killed somebody else. Blah, 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 blah. Boom! Damage. I lose a skill point. Eat my warning, Scarlet Pasta. Leave now. The safety of these citizens will be in your hands. How dare you threaten innocent bank patrons of Titan City, you mother... Oh, snap. It looks like I'm about to fight. So this is kind of what fights look like in this game. You're just choosing what you want to do. So since I don't think I have a lot of skill points, I try and go for the lower uh, level attacks, I guess you would say. Um, boom! I just knife-handed that dude in the face. Uh, I used like a psychic male superhero before and I tried to do the big stuff and like, you know, mess with his mind and I would always like faint and pass out and uh, I got my ass kicked. So I learned that you got to use the lower skill levels uh, in the beginning of the game or you're wasting your time. Alright. Boom. You prostrate yourself before you rub a cat against you for super conducted bear hug. So there's also like ridiculously goofy crap in this game, like rubbing a cat against you to give like an electric shock bear hug and like putting your tongue on a bolt so you can shoot bigger lasers. So the game has a lot of silly stuff, uh, especially even even in a combat where you wouldn't think it's silly, there's goofy crap like that. Like there's like a 9 volt battery for an electric magnetic burst. Um, so things like that, pretty funny. You gesticulate wildly before you lick a 9 volt battery for an electric magnetic burst. The burst strikes the alchemist. Boom! Four damage points and you kill him. Alright, so this is where you win the battle and you get a card. So the luck points increase the percentage that you get like a rare foil card. I don't know what you do with the cards. I don't know, maybe you like, if you collect them all then you've truly beaten the whole game. So now I have a card collecting card. So this is definitely a really nerdy game. It's a comic book, you're collecting cards. Um, as you'll see later, there's a lot of goofy uh, references to other comic books in here. So, it's pretty fun. It's pretty funny. I feel like reading a lot. Uh, so here we go. Now there's two more alchemists that look exactly like the last guy. And uh, we're going to fight them. So they're, like you saw when I had the stamina and I lost it in the crowd. Uh, it shows at the top I have 17 stamina. So I don't know what I started with. Probably like 20 then I lost one when I was in that fight in the crowd, and now uh, I'm going to probably take damage here fighting this guy. Oh, I got a chop to the left nostril. So I can pound him in the eye, I can rub a balloon on my head for a Tesla-powered shock. Um, so I rub a balloon on my head to zap him. <laughs> so that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, the alchemist leans in with a chop to my eyes, but I avoid it. All right, he's down to five, I'm at 15. Uh, I rub my hands together for a mysterious punch. And my punch hits the alchemist and there's a smell of cooked meat. Uh, his eyebrows are sizzled by my mysterious electrified punch. He lunges a stomp at my right cheek. And I evade it. I'm still in good health. I grab his solar plexus. Not sure how that 
works, but I, I grabbed his solar plexus. Two damage. And I killed him, but there's another alchemist that attacks. So I got a punch to the neck. Coalesce the ambient energy. Uh, debilitating blaze of intensity. Alright, so I missed. Curses, my debilitating blaze of intensity missed. So like when you try those higher level stuff, they seem to miss all the time. Ooh, a grab to my shin. I swear they just have an algorithm and pick parts of the body and actions and just combine them because they're none of them make any sense they're all ridiculous but i do like the classy old school kapow whoosh uh sound effects that go along with it um with the good lettering in there it's it's like a spoof on comic books but at the same time i mean it still is a comic book and uh it's a mystery adventure interaction, so it's pretty fun. I don't know, the fight scenes aren't that exciting. You don't actually see a lot going on. I feel like that could be an improvement. All right, so I get another card, I guess, for beating those guys. I could spend my luck points. I feel like I should save them until I have more than a 5% chance of getting a, a rare card. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it, because 5% chance is pretty low. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to contact the police and have the alchemists arrested. Uh, yeah. Boom, four more hero points. I shame these brilliant minds are used for criminal gain. Think of the good they can do. At least they'll be put away for a long time, which will make your crime-fighting job easier. Within minutes, two police cars pull up. Oh, Scarlet Pasta, we can't thank you enough for dealing with this pesky gang. No problem, officer. A large secure police van then arrives and the criminals are dealt placed inside. The criminals are dealt right? Someone edit this? They've been outsmarting us for months. Uh, we didn't really bond too well. Either I guess we didn't have the right chemistry. Oh, douche. Look at you with the quips. Uh, yeah, so I talked to one of the officers. There are reports of sightings of a giant shark off the beach. I see. I'd be very grateful if you could investigate. I'll look into it. I actually have two children who swim there every weekend. Uh, yeah, not to worry, officer. I'll keep all the kids safe. You start to make your way towards Starker's Beach when... My crime watch goes off once again. Barker Airport. Trats, that's in the complete opposite direction. Where will I go on my next mission? Hmm. The officer's concerned about the children, but the crime message says Parker Airport. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the airport. I'm pretty sure it's my job to fight crime and not sharks. I'll leave that up to the Sea Shepherds or something like that. Um, all flights are grounded. I had a report there's some kind of disturbance going on. What's happening? Oh, Scarlet Pasta, thank goodness you're here. Follow me, I'll take you to the control tower. All right, so we head up to the control tower where I get greeted nervously. Have you heard? No? Oh, no. The police are on their way. Some guy calling himself Tormentor has hijacked a DC-10 for passengers to London. Any advance? Says he'll crash the plane. Blames it all on Susan. We don't know why. What to do is a complete and utter. Ooh, wow, I have lots of choices. I can try the radio or try the radio. There's only one thing you can do from the ground. You step up to the radio and try to convince the Tormentor the folly of his ways. Hello? Is that you, Tormentor? Who can stop me, Scarlet Pasta? Has it plagued my life and now shall plague the lives of us? Ha 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 ha. Please, Tormentor, reconsider your actions and turn yourself in and think of the money innocent lies at stake. The madman gloats at your miserable pleas. <laughs> Such sniveling, unbecoming of a supposed superhero. But from the tone of his voice, you can tell he's impressed. Test my skill, I guess. I don't know what my other options are. I will test my skill. I thought I shot fire bolts, but apparently now I. Oh, I tested my skill and I was successful. Apparently now I'm a, a negotiator. My f laser shooting skills also help me negotiate. So I continue to try and reason with them. Um, they can, the control tower people can ask me to persist, and he gives up. He leaves the controls and lands it. So wow, I just talked down uh, the tormentor. That was easy. I tested my skills. Didn't even have any choices. I guess Scarlet Pasta is, is a great negotiator. Thank you, Scarlet Pasta. Help me see the hair of my ways. The tormentor shall torment no more. 
I'm glad to hear it, Tormentor. I'm sure that the citizens of Titan City are thankful as well. Come on, you're at the police station. Of course they are, officer. Tormentor is a changed man. Yeah, great, whatever. Yes, thanks, Carla Pasta. Remember to do that. Yeah, so, uh. That is pretty much how this game goes. You choose your own adventure, you got things to do. Uh, I'm gonna head home after my long day and take a rest. And that is Appointment with Fear. It's a choose your own adventure, mystery solving, interactive comic book. Uh, if you like what you see, pick it up. Uh, you can find it on Steam for a couple bucks. Uh, yeah, so if you like comic books, and not a lot of like actual action or gameplay, try Appointment with Fear. So that was Appointment with Fear. If you want to see how to get certain achievements or walk through on how to beat the game or to beat certain aspects, uh, just leave a message. Uh, check out our other games, our other videos, our other podcasts on www.brick-media.com.